Hey everyone! Today, I'm diving into the fascinating world of combustion. Yep, we're talking about why things burn. So, what actually happens when something catches fire? Well, burning is a chemical reaction where a substance combines with oxygen. This process is called combustion. Let's break it down. The substance that reacts with oxygen is a fuel. Common examples include charcoal, wood, coal, natural gas, and oil. These fuels have stored chemical energy. When they burn, this energy is transformed into thermal light and sound energy, which then spread out into the surroundings. But what's really happening at the atomic level? During combustion, atoms of the fuel, like carbon, combine with oxygen atoms in new ways. This rearrangement releases chemical energy which raises the temperature. Because thermal energy is given out, we call this an exothermic reaction. Now let's talk about burning other substances. Take hydrogen for instance. It can be used as a fuel in model rockets. When hydrogen combusts, it's also an exothermic reaction. Hydrogen and oxygen combine to form water, releasing energy as they do. This energy becomes kinetic, thermal, sound, and light energy. Here's a cool experiment. Imagine a plastic soda bottle filled with hydrogen and air, attached to a string across the room. A spark ignites the hydrogen, and the reaction releases such a burst of energy that the bottle shoots along the string. Pretty neat, right? Other substances can burn too. Magnesium, for example, produces magnesium oxide when it burns, giving out heat and light. This is another exothermic reaction, just like when any substance combines with oxygen, forming an oxide. This type of reaction is called oxidation. Let's look at another exothermic reaction, this time with water. When potassium reacts with water, the bonds between hydrogen and oxygen atoms in the water break, forming potassium hydroxide and hydrogen. The stored chemical energy transforms into thermal energy, which then dissipates. How about an exothermic reaction with acid? If you add magnesium to dilute hydrochloric acid, the test tube gets hot. That's thermal energy being released. Here's a fun classroom experiment. Sophia and Marcus each measured 10 cubic centimeters of dilute hydrochloric acid into test tubes and took the temperature. Then they added identical pieces of magnesium ribbon. When the reaction stopped, they measured the temperature again and observed the rise. So, there you have it. The science behind why things burn is all about chemical reactions, energy transformations, and exothermic processes. Keep exploring and stay curious. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more science adventures. Catch you next time.